Hi everybody, welcome back to Day of the Tentacle Remastered. We're in the kennel, the human kennel. Man, I thought we were gonna come in here and see like some dogs or like some dog tentacles. I totally forgot that we are the dogs and that the tentacles rule in the future. I guess that's something that we have to try and change. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here again. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Uh, I feel sick again. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. We don't even get seen by the doctor again. Great. All right. Why couldn't we take the human chart? I was rushing oh, last I've time. I've got plenty of those at home. Of course. She has plenty of them at home already. All right. Let us get out of here. It opens automatically. Oh, yeah. It's like Star Trek. And let's see if we can do anything with these people. Like, there's a person in a tutu here. Hello, person in a tutu. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's quite a tutu you've got there. Is your hair naturally blue? What are you uh, guys waiting for? What are you uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your owner is going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But oh. then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Nice. Is it because of the hair? Is your hair naturally blue? Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the air competition in the bag. Nice. Uh, hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Oh, I think I can use the spaghetti. I think, okay, let's get, let's get, oh shit. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. Oh I'm no. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Oh crap, I thought we'd be able to go out. Okay. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. Oh yeah. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. All right. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I know exactly what to do. Um, I need to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. All right, out we go. Out to the chronogon. Okay, human, do your business. I like how he just sits there reading a book while I go take a dump on the grass. That's nice. That's really good. All right, so what we want to do here is we want to send the tentacle chart down the toilet so that Hoagie... That's right, Hoagie. Grab the tentacle chart, okay? Now, we're going to take this tentacle chart up to the sewing lady's room, right? And we're going to get her to make a tentacle costume for Laverne so that she can walk around freely and we don't have to go back to prison every five seconds. Uh, at least I think that'll work. I can't remember. And I'm not lying when I say I can't remember stuff. Truthfully, I cannot actually remember. Is it in this door? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, we want to put the tentacle chart with the patterns. So that the flag turns into... Oh, the flag. It's at the top. Of where? It's not in this time. It's in Laverne's time. So it's upstairs. How the crap are we going to get that? Oh, Hoagie, that's disgusting. What the hell is your problem, you son of a bitch? We're going to have to get Laverne um, some... Oh, yeah, the spaghetti. All right, listen. I think... The spaghetti has to go to Laverne. And I think the reason the spaghetti has to go to Laverne is because I think she can, like... Do we have to boil it first, though? Fuck. I can't remember if we need to boil it first. Maybe it'll go all soggy when it goes in the chronogon. Maybe that's how it works. What are we going to do with the car in Bernard's time to get the crowbar? Because we need that, too, right? All right. Let's send this spaghetti back to Laverne. Okay. There you go, Laverne. Have some spaghetti. Is it gone all soggy? 
It is. Wet soggy noodles. All right, wonderful. So, oh yeah, we're gonna use the fork with the wet soggy. I don't think so. Look, Laverne, we have to use this for hair, right? I think the spaghetti we have to use for hair. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. Okay. It's about time. We're ready to go. Okay, now we have to talk to the guard. Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? I don't feel good again. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Yeah, that's right. Third time lucky. <laughs> anyway, here we are once again. Uh, can we actually use the noodles with ourselves? See, this is the only thing. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it. Harold. Smiling people. I don't know if we can just get past this guy, but we might be able to go out here and get into this fireplace? Wait, this goes into the... Whoa. A recyclotron. There's a microwave here. What's this door? Oh, man. Look, this room has not changed at all. Oh, shit. What's wrong, Laverne? Okay, there's something to do with this dryer and the coin slot for the dryer in Bernard's time, I think. What's in here? There's nothing in the cabinet, and I guess that's because I took it already, Bernard. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. All right, and what was in... Can we use anything with the Recyclotron, like uh, the scalpel? Nah, that might be useful. What about the fork? Nah, that might be useful. What about using the microwave? with the fake barf. Maybe that isn't such a hot idea. No, I, you know, thinking about it now, I'm like, no, that, that is not a good idea. What's in this hole? It says opener. Ugh. Opener of what? Ugh, what is that thing? What's this white hole? The label hole? is hard to read, but I think it says something about a rhesus monkey. Nice. And what's this green hole? Remove specimen here. Ugh. Okay. So this is like the future kitchen. We got a fireplace. Can we actually go up the fireplace? We can! Oh, this is how we get the disguise. Fantastic. Okay, perfect. No way could I reach that. What the hell? I doubt it will ever work again. Can we open the window? There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there? There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? Oh. It's a two-story drop to the showroom floor. I There's don't think so. There's a crank box. Can we use the crank box? We don't have anything. The crank is missing. We need a crank. All right, who's got it? Can we use the scalpel in the crank box? I don't think so. Crap. And then we've got this pulley as well. I can't remember what to do with the pulley. Do we have to, like, pick it up? It's even heavier than it looks. Shit. Okay, so we know how to get back up here. Oh. Meanwhile. Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're <laughs> filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Oh, the worst. He talked way too fast for the um, subtitles, look. Like That's enough, son. I just <laughs> wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no nice. humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. Alright, so that's Green Tentacle's room, I guess. Oh. Okay, uh, we have a tentacle here, who is... I don't even know what he's doing. Hello? Hi, I'm La... Ooh-wee, you are one ugly human. What the Excuse fuck? Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Jeez. That is so mean. Thanks, you ain't so hot yourself. Hold on. I feel like I'm about to sock you. Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me something? Yeah, you're a real wolf. <laughs> I mean, your hair alone is going to give me nightmares. 
Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Oh yeah, she does have one Gee, eye. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. God. I guess I better just go shoot myself then. Where I come from, I happen to be quite the babe. What is this, a beauty what contest? Is this a beauty contest? Yes. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could really call a human show a beauty contest. It's more like a least ugly contest. Oh. Human show, hot dang, sign me up. Human show, hot dang, sign me up. Sorry, humans can't sign themselves up, no matter how ugly they are. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. <laughs> Jeez, that guy is really mean. It's pretty funny, though. Um, all right, so we don't want to go back to the kennel. Can we go upstairs, or can we get into Fred's thing? Can we actually get in here? Probably not. We're going to get taken Humans back. Allowed to roam free here. Okay, so we definitely I'm need the costume. To the kennel. Boy, All right. I wish I had a tentacle costume or something. But Don't worry, I Laverne. Even so. Don't worry, we're all over it, Laverne. We're gonna find the crank and everything. Uh, what does she have on her? She's got the noodles, which I think she needs. She might need the teeth as well from Hoagie. Um. Okay. So how the hell are we gonna open up that? Oh, look where we are, too. <laughs> Shit. Why is that guy red again? Why did I paint him? Does anyone remember? Shit. How can that guy get into a car? Hmm. We can't hold him up with the gun. Can't use whiteout. The can opener? I think we have to use the can opener on the time capsule. But I can't remember where or what we do with the time capsule. We have some coffee which can... Oh, maybe we can like melt through the window or something. We have to open that window somehow. So that it's open in the future too. But also... Fuck, do we need to do anything with this asshole in here? I mean, I really don't want to do anything with this asshole, but let's stick him up. I'd rather not. Okay, we cannot stick him up. We can't get the cigar lighter either, which might be useful. Uh, we got the teeth from the vat. Disgusting mounds of party garbage. You know what? I don't think we have to do shit with this guy. We can't go in. Oh, can we actually? Oh! Aha! Okay. Wonderful. Let us take the crank. <laughs> Perfect. And what the hell do I do with the pulley? Wow, a pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. Okay. <laughs> Can we open these windows? It's already open. Oh, nice. That one's already open. And can we open this one? I can't. It's stuck. This one has been stuck for like 600 goddamn years or whatever. 400 years. What the hell? All right. Well, we might be able to figure out something to do with it. So this window we can actually just go in and out of in this time. But it's stuck in Hoagie's time. And I think they're all stuck in Laverne's time. Anyway, we got the crank, so we can send that to Laverne so that she can get the tentacle costume, so that we can at least go upstairs. That'd be useful, right? Fuck. It is a long-ass way down. All right, fine. Let's go down. We also need a VHS tape so that we can do the um, combination thing. Or is the combination just 57? I don't know. I think we have to, like, watch it in slow motion or something. I seem to remember that. You have to watch him changing it. I think the last number is 57, possibly. Can we pick it up? I can't get the contract. Can we just give him like some normal coffee? Maybe we better not do that actually. Okay, let's come back to this anyway. We'll go to the Chronojohn and we'll send Laverne the crank and then she can go and, oh God, it's gonna take forever though. It's gonna take forever for her to do everything. All right. Send this crank. We're going to flush it back through time. Go to Laverne. We're going to say that we're feeling... Um, well, we have to go to the Yoo -hoo, toilet first. Mr. Right? Tentacle Guy. What? All right. I have to go to the bathroom this time. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on. Okay. Let's take a walk. 
Man, this guy is so compliant, isn't he? Like, he's such a nice okay, guard. Human, do your business. All right, thank you. I'm going to go get the crank, and then we're going to have to go to the doctor again. It takes a little while to do, but it's worth it, right? Because we're going to get the costume, and then we're going to be able to go upstairs and maybe get some shit that we need. Everybody's going to think I'm a tentacle. It's going to be awesome. Actually, the future is... Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. I was going to say that the future is probably my favorite um, one, but I think it's actually Yoo -hoo, Bernard's. Mr. I like guy. just like the present day what? one the best. And I like Bernard the best too. I don't feel Ooh, so good. I don't feel so good. Again? That's right. I'm sick all the time, and I need to go to the bathroom all the time too. All right. Perfect. All right, so we want to go in here. We want to go in here. We want to go up the fireplace. Oh shit, does that mean that Hoagie... Hoagie will never fit up the fireplace back in the other time, right? Okay, we have the crank. We can use it with the crank box. And now we should just be able to, what, pull the crank? Hey, we got it! Took some doing, but we finally managed to get it. Perfect! Okay, let's put this thing on, right? Use it, push it, use it. <laughs> okay, fine. We're a tentacle now. I don't know what to do with the pulley. I can't remember. Do we want to pick up the crank just in case? We might need it again. You know, we might need to send it to like Hoagie or something. I have no idea. All right. So now we are fully a, a tentacle, right? Do we want to go back into the kennel and let those guys loose? Probably not straight away. I think the first thing we want to do is go back down here and get the you suck thing, right? Can we open this and go down? All right. I'm under strict orders from tentacle number one, the almighty elder, the oh, yeah. grand puma, purple tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. Okay. I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> And a darn attractive one, I might add. <laughs> nice. no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And All unless right. I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Aha! You heard the man. Escape! You're talking to the wrong people. We like it here. We are celebrities. All right. I know exactly who... Celebrities? What the fuck? All right, I know exactly who to let go of. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a jailbreak here. We're gonna get these creepy old assholes out of here. They're gonna go running Say, like crazy. Kitty, hey, what's what up? What brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? Uh, I'm here to see you, big boy. I'm looking for a pet. I'm uh, <laughs> here to see you, big boy. Oh. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. Nice. <sighs> uh, do you recognize me? I'm looking for a I'm pet. I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, uh -oh. downright surly. Yeah. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Huh. What a you grim future. can't even ride tricycles. <laughs> See why no one wants them as pets? Okay, let's flick the switch. Um, I'm here by accident. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Uh, no, I, uh... Hey, aren't you the waitress from Club Tentacle? I love that place. I'd be there right now if I weren't flat broke. Okay, so we need to get him some money I'm or like accident. a pass to Bye. Club Tentacle. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Okay, and then, then once we've done that, we can use get the switch, away right? from that. That's my job. All right, so that's how we get into the lab. Uh, we just need to find a Club Tentacle pass which might we might find upstairs possibly can we go up unhindered yes <laughs> stupid tentacle oh hey look the ice machine we can put something on ice to get it here possibly maybe whoa hey it's the time capsule and the plaque nice did we give the can opener to laverne of course we didn't there's a portrait here as well nobody i know 
But wait, we don't want to open the time capsule without putting something in it, right? Like, we want to get the uh, wine in there, I think. I think. It's a dented old can. There's a plaque here about it. What does it say? In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention, interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Oh, wait. Did he Run just put over the... by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. Oh, did he just put that log in there? Because, like, we, that means that... Let's pick up this candelabra. Look at it. It looks fantastic. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. <laughs> why, why is she getting so excited about that? I mean, it is kind of exciting when you think about it, though. The it's fact that somebody out. would actually bolt a candelabra to a table. Holy crap. Uh, okay, so we need the can opener to open that. I'm pretty sure. So we can get Bernard to send it over. Hey! He's not red! What the hell? Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I've got to get power to my chronojohn. I'm concerned about the human show. I'm oh, concerned about the human show. I remember now. Okay, I need to go now. I where am I going to find a human where to enter? Where am I going to find a human to enter? I found one right now. Most of the humans are probably entered already. Most of the humans are probably yeah. entered already. Okay. Uh, there's something about the human show. Something else about the human show. Do you think it's strange me talking to mommy? I should really go I now. I really should go now. Okay. Call me sometime, okay? I remember what to do here. Ish. I would, but who would see it? We have to dress him up. And we have to take a lamp Bernard as well. Bernard might like it, but it's way too tacky for There's an me. easy chair here. Do we want these roller skates? We got them. Uh, there's also an extension cord here which we could use. Nice! And a pink flamingo too. Not my style. What about a lava lamp? No way, those things are dangerous. All right, so the extension cord we definitely need. Uh, oh, I think we have to put the roller skates on the mummy so that we can move him. Great, let's push him. Oh, yes! That's it! Boom! <laughs> nice! All right, so we have to dress this guy up and enter him into the competition. And I think the winner of the competition maybe gets a pass to Club Tentacle. All right, let's carry on down Great here. Scott! Uh-oh. Your purple... Uh, um... Yes. Number, number one tentacle, right? Uh, well, don't you just look good enough to eat? I couldn't help noticing you ranting. I couldn't help noticing you ranting. <laughs> Shit. Not ranting, plotting. So what are you plotting? So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Nice. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. Nice. Say, you look kind of familiar. If you excuse me, I've got something in the oven. If you excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? <laughs> That's really funny. Chuckle, um, chuckle. He's chuckling a lot, actually. Do we need to do anything in here? Okay, this guy is chuckling a lot. All right, let's go upstairs to see what's in horse room. Oh, wait, there's nothing. What's all this crap? What, what is that highly restricted judging area? We can't go in there, or can we? Can we just enter the highly restricted judging area? Oh. Apparently, oh, look, it's a dinner certificate. This is what we have to give to the guard. I can't. It's behind the glass. All right, so what do we need to make um, the guy, the Elvis mummy on roller skates look good? Uh, we need the spaghetti hair. We also need to enter him into the competition in the first place, right? I can't remember how to do that. Maybe we have to go speak to that guy. Let's try. It's too early to do his hair. All right, so I think we have to enter him first. So let's go speak to the... G Wait, there's a door there, too. Where does that door lead? Does that go into the office? 
Can we actually go in here? Oh, it's the doctor's office now. I remember now. Okay, perfect. And we can go to the Chrono John whenever we want to now as well. And upstairs too. And into the crazy kitchen too. Alright, let's talk to this tentacle guy. Hello. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entries okay. will be judged in three categories. No best problem. Best smile, best hair, and best lamp. Thank How you, are you going to make him? Tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh. oh thank you. Please okay. It was my pleasure. All right, men. Yeah, okay. That was one good looking tentacle. Okay, I remember all of this now. Um, so, hair. So, it's hair, smile, and laugh, all right? S hair is not a problem. We've got hair. We're going to put the spaghetti on here. It's too early to do his hair. Is it? I Can don't we... think so. How do we? Oh, yeah, we have to put the name tag on the mummy. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Wait, no. I didn't do his hair. Ah, oh, we have to do it here. My finest hour. Oh, my God. Okay, so now they're up there. That's fine. Okay, so we need to get the chattering tea. Oh. Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It Again? may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. <laughs> bowels of brass. Nice. So can it, son? This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Oh. Oh, heck. You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No. Look at his beard. <laughs> Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They it's may true. be in disguise. Okay, he's on to us, but it's fine. Oh, hey, look, it's this cat. What's, what's wrong, cat? What are you trying to do here? Can't get close to him. Can we maybe lure him with That's the fake barf? That's one of the few places where fake barf is... Okay. Anyway, I know kind of what I need to do here, sort of. We're going to use the extension cord with the plug. There we go. And then we're going to use the extension cord with the window. Okay, great. That's done. That's something that we need to do anyway. Um, and now we need to send the scalpel to Bernard. Wonderful. Okay, Bernard. He's at his chronogon. And Bernard also needs to send the can opener back. Okay, the can opener is in there. That's good. So Laverne can pick that up and open up the thing to get the log, I guess? Possibly? Right, what else do we need? Uh, we need the noodle. We need that. Okay, and crucially here... Bernard needs to use the scalpel. Do we need to send anything else back? We need to send the teeth back as well. We need those chattering teeth uh, from Hoagie to be sent back. Okay. To Laverne. All right, Laverne. You get it. You can pick that up. She's got the teeth. And now, Bernard needs to get some way to make the mummy have the best laugh. And... Who do we know who has, like, the best laugh you've ever heard in your life? None other than this fucking clown. You remember this guy? We're gonna use the scalpel on the clown. Oh, it's... <laughs> That's his last laugh. All right, and we pick up the box of laughs. Okay, so this is how we're going to enter this competition. This is amazing. We're gonna use the laugh box, the chattering teeth, and a uh, spaghetti wig to dress up our mummy and win the dinner certificate for all this is going to be awesome. Okay, let's put the box of laughs into the toilet. Wonderful. We'll switch back to Laverne. Let's pick up the box of laughs. Okay, and now we have to go back in here all the way up 
to where those dudes are um, sitting, waiting to be judged. I think this is everything that we need. I seem to remember the mummy having lipstick or something, but maybe that was just the big teeth. I can't quite remember, but we'll see. I think we've got everything we need anyway. All right, judges, prepare to be wowed. That's right. We're going to put some teeth on the mummy. <laughs> okay. Chattering, mummy. <laughs> okay, maybe he doesn't need the lipstick. Gum. Oh. Guys, that sound is giving me a headache. Oh. oh, this will never work. Why? Hang on a second. Okay, what about the soggy noodles? Wonderful. Okay, and now we use the fork with the mummy's head to do give him like a hairdo, a nice hairdo, right? And a bonus meatball. That is disgusting. All right, let's give him the laugh box. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, and now we need the chattering teeth to finish it off, right? Stop chattering, mummy. He's ready to go. The judges will think you're chewing gum. Oh shit, do we and need that the gum? sound is giving me a headache. Oh, this will never work. Oh crap, do we have to like find some way to make the teeth stick together? Now that I can't remember. Okay, he's almost ready to go. In the meantime, let's go into here and use the can opener on the thing and see what's inside. Maybe it's the log. Maybe we can warm up what's-his-face. All right, we've opened it. Is it empty? Can we look? It's a dented old can. I can't pick it up. Oh, shit. So I've opened it. And there's nothing in it. So I guess I do have to put something in it, but I can't remember what to put into it. Fuck. Okay. Well, anyway, we've made some progress. Uh, we now have free reign in the future mansion, which is pretty good thanks to this awesome disguise. And um, we'll be back next time to figure out more puzzles and do more stuff generally. It'll be great. Excellent. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.